I'm Mark Gilanov, the chairman of cardiac surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. And I'm Tariq Malas, I'm a cardiac surgeon here at the Cleveland Clinic. Together, we are the key components of the robotic team. We both do robotic heart surgery. And if you are contemplating robotic heart surgery, there are five key questions that you should consider and that you should ask. The first question is this, is robotic surgery better for me than regular heart surgery through a sternotomy? And most often the answer is yes, robotic surgery is better for you because with small incisions, you're going to recover more quickly. You won't look like you had heart surgery and you're going to feel better much faster than you would if you had a standard sternal incision. Why? Because in the robotic operation, we go through the side with small incisions and we do not cut any bones. The second question in robotic surgery to ask is, am I a candidate for robotic surgery? And that's a question that we examine together in a multidisciplinary team, meaning we work together with cardiologists, anesthesiologists, etc., to evaluate whether you are a candidate. And we do a CT scan and certain testing procedures to evaluate if you are a candidate. The third question you should ask your surgeon concerning robotic heart surgery is this, can you do the same thing with the robot as you would through a regular incision? Meaning you don't want somebody to cut corners and give you a lesser operation just so you can get a smaller incision. And we are selective and we have great expertise after more than 2000 robotic operations such that we know when we can do exactly the same thing through a small incision to speed the recovery. So the answer has to be yes. The surgeon can do the same thing with the small robotic incisions as through a sternotomy. The next important question to ask is how do you choose your heart surgeon? It's important to go to a center that has a lot of expertise and a lot of volume. Surgeons who have performed this procedure many times. As you know, robotic surgery is not something that is taught at medical school. This takes a lot of expertise and time to develop. And it's important to go to a center that has done quite a lot, like the Cleveland Clinic. We've done more than 2,400 cases, and we have done them very well with a repair rate of about 99.8%. We've mastered the learning curve here to make the surgery a routine surgery, and we work together effectively as a team and perform the surgery in a fantastic, very structured way. The final question is really one just of curiosity. How does the robot work? Many people think it's sort of like a Keurig coffee maker where you hit a button, and you come back and the coffee's made. Unfortunately for the surgeon, it's not like that. There's no button that makes the robot repair your mitral valve or close an atrial septal defect. And it is used most commonly, the robot, to repair the mitral valve, and it is a tool. It's an extremely advanced, resilient tool. The most important part of it is a camera. Because we put a camera into the chest, we don't need a, an incision or a hole as big as my hand, because my hand never goes in the chest. The camera is a three-dimensional camera, which enables the surgeon, Dr. Malice or myself, sitting at a console to see inside your heart with three-dimensional visualization. Then we can use three instruments at once. The instruments are on long tubes, a little bit thicker than a straw, and they go into the chest through little ports. And although we only have two hands, we can have three instruments and a camera operating at once, us controlling them from the console. And then we use these instruments, which are scissors and forceps, just like regular instruments, we use them to repair your valve. And with the excellent camera and these very flexible instruments, we can do everything through tiny incisions such that the day after surgery, you don't look like you had heart surgery. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.